You made the decision when you said you'd join Amkonta. Like the people of Eastern Europe and Central Europe who fought the Nazis, because freedom is that important. You've made the decision long ago. There's no point chunking about it and saying, oh, oy vey, why me? Yeah, I am Jewish, you know, a little bit. <laughs> Both sides of the family, maternal and paternal, came from beers in Lithuania and fled the pogroms like so many other Jews did from the Baltic states uh, at the time. As a little three-year-old granny who spoke no English, only Yiddish, which I didn't understand, would enfold me in her voluminous dress and cuddle me and I would wriggle free. <laughs> I would walk down past Mr. Oswald's butchery and he combed his hair in the style of Adolf Hitler over one eye and he had a little brush moustache. And if I walked on his side of the street, he would come running out with a meat cleaver in each hand, threatening me and he's going to get me, Jew boy. And my parents simply said, why don't you walk on the other side of the road where there was a little park? He's, he's crazy. But I understood there was something serious there because I grew up in such a home where race prejudice, the idea, in the case of my parents and their friends, the, the awareness of anti-Semitism was transcended into an awareness of racism in general. During World War II, and I grew up during that period, my heroes were not just formal soldiers, but the guerrilla fighters uh, of Russia, Bulgaria, Hungary, the Great Plains of Europe, but the Partigiani of Italy, the Marquis of France, the resistance inside Nazi Germany, of people who were prepared to lay down their lives because freedom is more important for all than your own life. Uh, and this was my belief. But the idea of taking up arms is a romantic idea to some youngsters. And I wanted them to understand it could mean death. I didn't get involved in the struggle so that I would be put up on a pedestal. I got involved because there was a need to change the inequalities within our society. I was a leader. I had to lead. I couldn't succumb. We changed the country. And the potential for change and improvement is still there.